Hi guys, welcome back. We are about to head towards the forest to do a nice hike. We are going to a forest called Helena Bos and we are going to hike the dog trail over there. Yes, the trail is really called the dog trail. It's been designed for dogs, so to say, where they are allowed to run off leash, sniff around, play around with other dogs and just having fun. And it's not a long hike. It is around four kilometers, if I say it correctly. But today we'll be having two older dogs with us, my own Max and also the dog from my parents will be with us. So therefore, just a short walk through the woods. And um, hiking in fall is amazing. The forest brings so many beautiful things. Nature is at its best. And therefore, we are going to search for mushrooms on this hike, see what we can find. And uh, maybe we can find something new that we haven't seen before. But there are a few things to keep in mind, because although fall is absolutely gorgeous outside, going into the forest with your dog on a fall day also can bring in some dangers, because there are some dangers involved in fall mm -hmm. that can really harm your dog. And therefore, I would like to start this video with a little warning in regards to those dangers. And there are actually three dangers to keep in mind in fall. First are the mushrooms, two are acorns, and three are frogs or toads. The first one are the mushrooms. Well, I think they are the most dangerous danger. Well, <laughs> that's a bit of a weird pronouncing, but I think that's the most danger of the three of them. And uh, some mushrooms are not dangerous at all for dogs, but some of them are really poisonous for them and can at the end lead to death. So therefore, I think it was important to mention them. And um, some signs of a uh, poisoning by uh, mushrooms can include the following signs. I will blend them in right now. So if you see one of these signs with your dog after being into the forest, knowing that he has been in contact with mushrooms, please be aware. If you know any of these signs, um, if you recognize them, please go to your vet immediately because they can harm your dog really badly and in the worst situations can lead to death. So be aware of them and uh, take action when needed. Number two are acorns. And acorns, most of them are dangerous in the springtime when they are just starting to fall, when they are that bright green color. But also uh, acorns that are falling in the fall can be really dangerous. And uh, they, of course, they are not exactly straightway dangerous when a dog plays with them, but they became dangerous when a dog chews on them or even swallows them. So um, I will also blend in some signs of a acorn poisoning as well. And the third one are frogs and toads. And of course, not many dogs will eat frogs or toads, and that's not a problem either. But the problem with those animals is that on their skin, they've got a sort of slimy layer. And that's the thing that can become dangerous to dogs, because when they lick it or something and that goes into your dog, that can cause really problems, which I will blend in right now. So if you have been out into the woods, your dog has been in contact with mushrooms, acorns or frogs or toads, be aware just a few days after being into the woods to know that there are not any of the signs that I just blended in. If you know any of the signs, go to your vet, undertake action. And like I said with the frogs, of course, your dog's not going to be poisoned straight away when they smell on it or touch it, but eating it or licking it can cause some really problems. So just a quick warning in regards to the fall, let's go out into the forest. Mm -hmm. 